I'm sorry I had to redo this video over. You touched on a lot of issues in this video, and I just want to reiterate on some of them. Now, we all got that family member that won't go to the doctor for nothing. Oh, she won't go to the doctor because, you know. But see, we have this, this, I guess this inner mechanism that is it's more like fear. It's the fear of going to the doctor. It's the fear of learning bad news. Um, you know, and once again, I, I tell you, everything that we learn is taught. People teach us to be scared. Ooh, the dentist, they hurt your teeth. and Ooh, they're going to drill your teeth out. Ugh. And it's the fright mechanism. Then a lot of us don't have any health care. Um, the average black person, I truly believe, is not covered. Um, we were young. We had the Medi-Cal and the crap like that. Since I've been an adult, I have been covered healthcare. I've had healthcare one period of time in my life. When I was a kid, I told you we had Medi-Cal, and as an adult, I was covered once in my adult lifetime. That's from the age, say, 18 to now. I've only been covered once. And, um, the main thing with the dentist, the dentist, he's always telling me, my insurance to pay this, my insurance to pay this. I felt as if he was going for my money. He just, you, you, this is covered this way, this is this, and this is that, this is this, and this is that. Da, da, da. And the first thing he says, you can get gold, Put we can have gold. I felt as if I was stereotyped by the dentist, so I really stopped fucking with him, excuse my language. Um, they did a procedure on my wife and she had to get something done and for like three four years she couldn't feel like the front end of her tongue was like they fucked up and the doctor said oh that's a bullseye when we hit directly in the nerve da 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 I can still touch my lip right here I feel it down here up in here down up in there there's a tingle down there, down there, down up in here. I used to have the same dentist. Um, there's a lot of issues. And when it comes to the mental aspect of it, I mean, like I said, for a long time, it's negativity. Um, we have seen so much negative things in our lives that when it comes down to ourselves and our bodies, we believe that we best know how to heal ourselves. And we won't go get any help we won't listen to advice because for the most part every time we have taken advice from our peers there has been a negative outcome in other words a lot of people will be more trusting if there had been more trustworthy outcomes when dealing with other people of our same racial backup makeup makeup backup ah you know what I mean so there's a lot of different issues within this issue. Black people, mental health, pride. It's pitiful. Because we don't believe that anyone can help us because we've been helpless so long. We don't trust each other anymore for various reasons. And we argue and frustrate each other based on what we believe is right. In other words, if I disagree with you on something, 70% of the time I'm going to keep this disagreement in between us. So no matter all the other things that we agree upon, this one disagreement will always be the focal point for why me and you can't get along. Because of the one disagreement. That one disagreement won't me get won't will not let you get to the other side. As soon as you hit that disagreement, the part of our relationship that me and you can't get, you know, it's like a brick wall there. But everything else we agree upon lets us think freely. But that one disagreement messes up all the other stuff that we agree upon. That in itself kicks in on the pride level. My pride is too strong. That is a mental issue. 
black people for the most part won't go to therapy why what are they trying to fix what is broken in me that I need therapy the mental aspect of thinking that our well-being is totally in our own hands is wrong um, there's kids who are molested every day how do they turn out as an adult um, I met this young man a few years back I was going with this one girl and he worked at her beauty salon and you know he was gay I asked him why was he gay he said because every other man he's ever been with has done this and that and that and that and that and that, and that to him because he was molested he figured that he was supposed to be a homosexual thus that's how he lived his life as a female because that's all that men have done to him while growing up you understand that philosophy he's gay because somebody touched him not necessarily because he was born that way thus the mental issue that's another mental issue so you look at everything that's ever happened to everybody other groups races they go get help they go get help for their children they go help get help for whatever they need help for black people don't believe they're gonna get any help so therefore they don't go ask for any help so if something is bugging this man in the back of his mind instead of going to get some help because he's bipolar He's going to go get drunk, get high, and maybe get killed. Why? Because he doesn't know he's got a problem. A lot of us are addictive, compulsive. In other words, if you like this cup of coffee, you will buy that same. You will spend your extra penny to get that damn coffee. Because that's part of your addiction, your compulsion to do this coffee. Or drugs or sex or violence instead of going to get help for these these uh, mental diseases and ill afflictions that you know to create drama and stress and pain nobody wants to know and when it comes to STDs and sexual diseases you know that this person is promiscuous and you are promiscuous yourself you make this person a target you get her she gets you you have whatever kind of relation you have and now you guys are swapping diseases the average person gets mad oh that girl gave me something but if you're both promiscuous looking for love because you don't have no love somewhere that is a disease and you can actually catch diseases from wanting love so bad that you go out and do anything to get some. And when I was young, young people have the problem with trying to teach each other about sexuality. Young people will teach each other the wrong shit. Man, I'm wearing no condoms, man. You can't feel it when you have a condom on. Can you feel it when you're masturbating? You're not having sex with a woman then, but you can feel that. Where's the logic in having a condom on and not having a condom on? You put the condom on so you can continue to have feelings like that. Make sense? It might not make sense for some of you guys out there. The girl is fine. The girl is hot. You just want to stick it in there. One young man told me, hey, if I had my way with Mariah Carey, she'd have my baby. And... Then I told him, what makes you think she's going to give you some without a condom? I ain't going to mess with no women if I have to put a condom on. That attitude right there creates disease. You don't have to catch AIDS. You can catch gonorrhea, anything else. When that skin hits that skin. Oral sex. Women catch diseases from having oral sex. So you know what a friend of mine told me? Don't say nothing like that in your videos. People will stop sucking on them. Mental issues. All this revolves around one thing. The need to feel want. You've been tubed. 